So hello learners, welcome to the IIT Madras student community channel. Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignments. But before that, subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So now let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to IITM student community channel. Let's start with the solution of week 1 graded assignment questions of maths 1. First question is which of the following are irrational numbers? So we have to check option by option. If we simplify the first option, so we have to multiply with root 8 plus root 2 in uh, numerator and denominator. Then we get root 8 plus root 2 whole square by 8 minus 2. So it's 8 plus 2 plus 2 root 16 by 6. It is 10 plus 2 into 4 by 6. 10 plus 8 by 6. So it is 3. So 3 is not a irrational number. It's the natural number. So it's not a irrational number. Next option. I have to simplify. So we have to multiply with root 6 plus root 3 in numerator and denominator. So we get root 3 plus root 3. Root 6 plus root 3 whole square and it is 6 minus 3. So if we simplify it is 6 plus 3 plus 2 root 18 3 and it becomes 9 plus into 3 root 2 so it is 9 plus 6 root 2 divided by 3 that is 3 plus 2 root 2 so here it is 2 root 2. So it is the irrational number. So this option becomes an irrational number. Here now check the next option. So root 8 becomes 2 root 2 plus root 2. And root 12 becomes 2 root 3 minus root 3. So 2 root 2 plus root 2 it is become 3 root 2 and 2 root 3 sorry Two root two plus root two, it's become three root two, and it's two root three minus root three, it becomes root three. So it is three root six. So it is also a irrational number. So this is also our correct option. And the last option, if we simplify this root eighteen, it becomes three root two minus root three. Divide by root 2 minus 1. Now it is 3. So it becomes 3. So 3 is not a irrational number. So it is not our correct option. So our two correct options are B and C. These two. Next question. Here we are given two states A and B. 
with the ranges. So first the set A equals to A belongs to natural numbers such that 3 greater than equal to A less than equal to 8 that means A equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the set B is equal to the range is between 5 to 10 including 5 and 10 so it is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so these are our two sets A and B now we are given two columns here column A and column B and we have to match these two columns so first we have to find A union B right A union B is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 up to 10 next so A is matched with 3 now A meet B what are the common elements of A and B it's 5, 6 5, 6, 7, 8 right so A meet B this is the right option and next is a difference B so it means the elements of A which are not in the set B so those elements which are not in B is that are 3 and 4 these are the elements of A which are not in B so C goes to 4 and B difference A that means the elements of B which are not in the set A so those are 9 and 10 so D is 2 so now let's check the options so A is 3 B is 1 C is 4 B B I guess 2 yeah these 2 now let's check the option yeah the second option is matched with ours. This is our right option. Next question. Suppose f1 x and f2 x are functions defined on domains d1 subset of r rational number and d2 subset of r respectively and codomains are subset of r. What will be the domain of the function f1 x? plus f 2 x so here is the addition of two functions so you know that uh, for the addition of two functions the domain will become the common intersection of the domains of that two function f1 f and f 2 x so here is the right option that is d1 intersection d2 it is our right option Next question, consider the function f such that natural number set without 0. Here given two function f and g with domain and codomain are natural number sets without 0. So the set is like 1 to infinity. Right? So first function fx is equal to x plus 1 and gx is equal to fx minus 1 if x greater than 1 and 1 if x equal to 1. 
which of the following options are true so options are a is 1 1 to 1 but not 1 to f is neither 1 to 1 nor 1 to so we have to check f x and g x are 1 to 1 and if on to or not right so f x is equal to x plus 1 so to check the injective property 1 1 property we have to take two values of x like x1 and x2 and let's say x1 not equal to x2 right so if x1 is equal to x1 plus 1 and if x2 is equal to x2 plus 1 so x1 not equal to x2 so that means if x1 not equal to if x2 and if we take if x1 is equal to if x2 then we get x1 plus 1 is equal to x2 plus 1 and we get x1 is equal to x2 right so if x is 1 1 now if we check the onto property we can see that we cannot get any input value for the output value 1 so f is not on to so f is 1 1 but not on to it's one of our correct option now check for the next function gx let me clear this Okay. So for GX, if X greater than 1, X greater than 1, it is FX minus 1 and FX is X plus 1 minus 1. That means it is X when X greater than 1. And uh, it, uh, GX equal to 1 when X equal to 1. Okay. If we check for 1 1 property, so first we have to take two values of x that is x1 and x2. So if x1 not equal to x2, then gx1 is equal to x1 and gx2 is equal to x2. So gx1 not equal to gx2 and if gx1 equal to gx2 then x1 is equal to x2 so gx is also 1 1 and if we check for the on to properties we can get and we can get that every uh, for every output value we can get one input value so g is also on to so we can say g is the bijective function so it is our correct option so option a and b these two are our correct option so question number five suppose if such that d2r is a function defined by f x is equal to x square square root of x square minus 36 divided by x plus 6 where d is a subset of z that means integers let a be the set of integers which are not in the domain of k then find the cardinality of the set a 
so first the function fx that is x square minus 36 by x plus 6 it is well defined if x square minus 36 is greater than or equal to 0 and x plus 6 not equal to 0. So the domain of fx domain of fx is the set of integers without these forms that is minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 it is the domain of fx now by definition the set a is the set of integers which are not in the domain of f so the set a is this this is our a set minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 our question is find the cardinality of the set A. So the cardinality of the set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 elements in the set A. So this is the cardinality of the set A. So that's all for this video. The other solution of the rest of the questions you will get in the next video. The link will be provided in the comment section. So please check the comment section and do subscribe and join our channel. Thank you.